Hi grade 12, so in today's video we are going to do a creditors reconciliation part 3. So if you haven't watched part 1 and 2, please go and check on the grade 12 file. You will find part 1 for creditors reconciliation and part 2. Okay, without wasting any other time guys, let's start with our question. So this is question paper that was written in 2014. Okay. So actually the reconciliation, it doesn't change at all because this similar question, I saw it on the question paper which was written in 2020, is the same, exactly the same. Alright, so this is the answer book that they provided to us that we are going to use. Okay, they said a statement received from creditor Zulu supplier on 28 February 2014 reflects that Zua net traders owe them 11000 Okay, and according to Zwane Trader, the amount outstanding is only 7,750. All right, remember when we prepare a creditors reconciliation statement, we have to make sure that our books, which are creditors ledger, and the statement from supplier, they have to be the same. The amount must be the same. If we purchase 10, uh, uh, item by 10,000 on credit, we're going to record that we owe them 10,000. And they are going to record that we took the goods of 10,000, which means that they are equal. So what we are doing here is the process of making this balance to be the same because there are some errors that happen during the year. Okay, as you can see here, guys, they said in the statement of creditors, the amount is 11,000. 11,000. But on our books, it's indicated that the amount is 7,750, which means that they are not balancing because of the error that we are going to, to read. Okay, required is, is what I already stated that we are going to use this answer book. Okay, and they said we have to write only amount together with a sign, whether it's a plus or minus. Okay, let's check information now. A check for 2,000 issued by Zwani Traders has not been recorded in the statement received from Zulu supplier. Okay, there's a 2000 check. When we talk about check, which means that us as a business, we have paid. Okay, but they say that in the statement of supplier, that amount is not yet recorded. Okay, which means that uh, we can just write a check here. But in the books of, of supplier, they are saying that a 2000 was not yet recorded. Now sign that we are going to use guys is going to be minus. Why minus? Because it's a check. A check indicated that we paid. We, re we reduce what? Liability. So they have to record it that we no longer owe them this 2000 because we paid. Okay? Simple as that. All right. Now question your uh, information number two. The check in the statement of January account was not received by Zulu supplier within seven days. Therefore, discount of 400 recorded by Zwane Trader in the Kretas ledger must be cancelled. All right, remember if we, 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 we recorded a discount, it indicated that we have what? We reduce a credit. But they say that that credit of 400, because the amount is not reflected within seven days, it must be cancelled. How do we cancel it? very simple very simple okay we are dealing with uh, okay it's transaction number two the check was not received okay this one it was discount i i needed there was a discount this this discount in our books we subtract it but remember now uh, because they said that they haven't yet received this cash within seven days we are going to do what to add it back plus 400 we are adding it back because it has to be cancelled it was subtracted now we have to to add it back simple as that guys okay number three uh, a written record s750 in the ledger of zwane traders was recorded s 800 in the statement received by zul in other words they recorded 700 this side and this side is 800 which means that they are not the same okay what do we do now Zwane Trader had miscalculated cost of goods return. Us is the one who miscalculated. Okay, remember, 
This side is a minus 800 because it's a return, which means that it was reducing what? Liability. It's a return. Even this side is minus 750 instead of minus 800. What do we do in order for, for, for it to make it minus 800? We have to say minus 50 again. Minus 50. Okay? It's for return. It's for return. Simple as that. Minus 50. So that because this side it was minus 800 and this side it was minus 750 when we add minus 50 into minus 750 is going to be minus 800 then they will be the same that's what we are doing very simple very simple okay now number four they said an invoice received from zulu was correctly recorded as 9000 by zwanet Seda. however in the statement received from Zulu supply, it was incorrectly recorded. Invoice, guys. Invoice is not the same as check. Check is when we paid. Invoice is when we take something on credit, which means that it's going to increase what? Liability. Okay. This side, they record it as, my, uh, as plus what? 900 instead of plus 9,000. What, what do we do now? We have to get the difference. The difference between 900 minus uh, 9,000 minus 900 is going to give us 8,100. This 8,100 must be corrected here because they said that, uh, however, in the statement received from Zulu supply, it was incorrectly recorded as 900, which means that we have to come here and add 8,100 so, so that it will be the same as 9,000 that is recorded here. Simple as that because this side, they already recorded what? 900. 900 plus 8,100 is going to be 9,000. The same with the one that has been recorded here. Very simple, guys. Number five. An invoice of 4,500 received from Zulu supplier. It was incorrectly recorded as credit notes. Okay. Now let's think, guys. Let's think in this way. Invoice, I say that is when we took a goods on credit. Okay. And the credit notes is when we return. If we return, it's going to be minus. If we purchase something on credit and we haven't yet paid, it's going to be plus to indicate that liability goes up. Very simple. Now let's identify what went wrong in this case. Okay. An invoice of 4,500 from Zulu was incorrectly recorded as credit notes. In other words, the mistake is here, guys. They recorded amount of 4,500 as a what? As a credit note, in other words, they come here and say minus 4,500 instead of saying plus 4,500. What do we do now? Very simple. Because they subtracted 4,500, the first step that we have to do, we have to say we are cancelling it by adding 4,500, which means that the one that was subtracted we can sell it by edit back, then it gives us zero. But we are not done because we have to record that what invoice, which means that we are, again we have to say plus 4,500. Simple. I know that you are familiar with this transaction, transaction where you have to double amount the one for cancellation and the one for recording. Okay, or you can just say plus 9,000. It's going to give you the same amount. Just like that. Okay. So I think this is our last uh, transaction. So if you add everything from top, 7,750 plus 4,000 minus 50 plus 9,000. This is two options, guys. You can take this one or you take this one only. You don't add them together. They're going to give you amount of 17,000. 100 when you come this side 11,000 minus 2,000 is going to give you 9,000 and you add uh, 9,000 plus 8,100 is going to give you a 17,100 then now your reconciliation is balanced very simple guys i'm expecting uh, you to get total in this kind of question especially if you go and watch part one and part two as well 
so that uh, you will understand the other kind of um, transaction how are you going to treat it but after all guys everything is gonna be the same the principles still going to be the same so i hope you learned something and you enjoyed this video just appreciate me guys by subscribing let this channel uh, grow guys thank you so much for watching please share with your friend like this video comment something on the comment section so that i will know that someone is being assisted by my videos thank you so much guys enjoy